Now, I get lots of requests about flies, and uh, there's a fly I've, over the years I've been asked quite a few times, got a tie, and it was a CDC, uh, sorry, a Cop de Leon Cadiz. Now, it's, I've never tied one before except for these. Now, I've tied three. I would say this is probably one, I'll show you. This one here, a bit heavier. A bit more of a horn they like at the front. A bit less on this one. Uh, I, I was just messing around trying to get a style. I've, I've got styles that I tie and I'm just trying to use these materials in this style of fly. There's a combination of the CDC and the white and Cock de Leon. Now, put a, you'll see a picture coming up of a fiery brown Cock de Leon saddle. It's a lovely colour. This is a natural colour. It looks dyed, but it's not. It's natural. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, the feathers that it comes from it, you, you get these, and it's got this mark in both sides, what you're looking for. Just lovely. It's a lovely colour, especially for this Sin Macadis. Uh, and I thought, well, that's, uh, I'm definitely going to give it a go. And you see, it looks not so good sideways, but seeing me look at the top down, uh, it certainly... Uh, I'm going to tie a few up, put it that way, uh, and give them a good go. And if there's ideas within this, use them, try them. That's what fly tying's all about. So anyway, first thing is the hook. You use whatever hook you like. I'm using this one here. It's a fully mill hook. It's a black nickel. It's an ultimate dry in size 14. It's a barbless hook. Uh, thread I'm going to be using, the rusty brown. Uni thread and 8 It's going to... Take off a length, run the wax through. Just pull it back, put it back on the spool, but as I do that, you can probably hear I'm rubbing my fingers through it. And you hear the grip, that's what, that's what wax does, gives you the grip. Now when you start it, just from the eye, put down a layer of thread, all the way along. And there's a good reason for that, you need the grip with this cotyledon fibre, it's a quite a stiff fibre. So I'm all the way along, but then I'm going to quickly come back up because I'm going to tie the wing forward and pull it back. Now these are the feathers here. This is this is one of the shorter feathers I'm actually using. There's long, really long ones here. We shall probably get at least I about three flies. I'll get two flies out of this. So I'll get both sides. I'll get fly on this side and the fly on that side. So I'm going to take away the fluff. And that's it, ready to peel off. Now I've actually got one, of the fly I tied there, I've actually got one sitting, which I've already taken away one side. So I'm going to use the other side now, just to show you. I, I, I want the, the kind of denser fibre, just to get the darker colour near the base. And I'm just going to take these off. Now you bring them 90 degrees from the stem, obviously, helps to line them up. But I'm going to stack it. So I'm just going to take what's left here. That should be fine. So there it's there, just bring it together with my fingers. You could tie these on, but I'm going to put it into a wee stacker. So, tips first, I'm just going to open up the back a wee bit to help it, because it will cling it together, these fibres. So, tap on your desk, and then just a wee check, just to see lined up here, yeah, look not too bad, so I'm happy with that. Take it away. Now you're looking for a wing length where it just comes over the back there, just like that. So if you look, if you use a guide, so you've got your shank length, probably just about just short of two lengths of the shank, so we'll use that as a measure. Now I'm going to tie this forward, as I say. So what I'm going to do, I'm get the same measure, one, two, tie forward. Just look at it and just think of the, the horn length as well, because I'm going to use leave some of the fibres for the horns, as you probably saw in the fly. And then I'm going to work my way down, nice and tight. I'm going to taper the fibre, cut, just near the back here. Makes it easier to tie in this, and before I go any further, I'm going to just check, make sure you've got that wee bit of space there at the eye, because I'm going to tie off it there, so it's fine. Bring your thread down, nice and tight, 
all the way to the back here and then for the body what I'm going to be using the under wing is a CDC feather now I, I use these up for many other flies and uh, I never throw away the cut away weight of the waist at the base I use that as a dubbing so I gather it up in a wee bag just like this you can see there's a mix of light and dark cinnamon in there so we use that for the body Slightly, it dubs on really well. You can use a good dry fly dubbing if you don't have this. And then we just work up tight when we need to. I don't want it too tight, I want to be been able to for this material to soak up my um, floatant that helps to float the fly. Bring it up body length so you leave, leave yourself about a third of the shank. There we are. It looks a bit rough. If you want, you can trim it. You can leave it, it would still work. But I'm going to trim it to show you what it looks like. So it makes a lovely, lovely body. Just watch your wing when you're doing this. Nice straight cut. That's fine, I'll do it. Then the CDC feather. You could put one or two on, I'm just putting the one. Just to the feather to the back of the hook, so I'm pulling in the fibres of my finger, finger and thumb. Get the length I want. Set it on top. You want it flat. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Just helps to, helps to float the fly, thicken the wing a wee bit. A wee bit of wax on my thread. Now I'm going to show you this. Trim this a length, of the, just short the length of the thorax there. Now this waist is what I keep. Now I'm going to use this in the fly, so I'm going to trim away. Trim it away, it's easier to trim away. Set it on your desk. Best to cut it over your desk rather than over the top of your fly, so it doesn't fall on the floor. You should, be end, you should end up with something like this, just a bare stem, basically. Put a wax on your thread, wind down. Now you could, what I would do if I was wanting to put a hackle in here, there's a couple of ways you could tie it. I mean obviously you can bring it up, you can take it back, it's, it's up to you where you want to hackle. But I want to keep it, as, uh, try and show you as much of the fly as I can. So I'm just going to dub it back from there, using the dubbing there, it's here. Fine thumb. Dub it on, it dubs easy. Slide it up. Let's get it started. No, no one be too close to that wing. I'm going to keep that, leave that space. Just build up the thorax. You want it reasonably loose because you want to pick out some of this fibre. Now I'm going to tie this off at the back here. So you want it's where you want to end up. Leave a space for that. Now this is where you could just basically bring out. Some of the CDC, especially on the top, because this will help you to lower the wing. Just bring it out. Just hold the CDC. You can see I'm bringing it down. Uh, you can see that there. Now, we want to draw this back. It's got the Leon fibres. Now, we need to leave some for a, some horns. So, I want the kind of longer ones here. I've got a couple either side here. I could easily pull down either side. And then take the wing, I don't even see that, but I'm pulling some down the either side of the, the head. You can look, you see there. So I'm going to hold them what I want, I'm going to hold what I want. Now I'm going to exaggerate the horns. So just put my thumb on top. Let me see how it looks. Yeah, that's fine. And then Get your thread turned at the back, once you're happy with three or four turns just to secure. Now before, I want to spread these slightly at the back as well, the fibres. There we are. You want a good half dozen turns there. I want to tidy up with a bit of dubbing. And 
the rest is just fun time. It's, I've never fished this fly. It's only a, a bit of fun. And as you can see, I've just checked. It was like it's tidied it up there. Now I want to tie off in front. So as you can see, there's still some dubbing on the, the thread. I stretch it out and do a couple of turns in front. I can even bring it up. Use it up. It'll help spread the, the horns. You can see the horns are there. So, tying off, it's quite simple, just put some, some varnish on the thread. I'm always keeping the thread tight, I'm never letting it really go. And then lift the horns out of the way, any dubbing, hot finish, tighten up. And there we are. And that's basically a bit of fun. It's a, it's, a CD, it's a CDC Cock de Leon, or the Viking Cock de Leon Caddis. Now you could pick out, spend a wee bit of time picking out some of the dubbing for the legs. Just make sure you can do it to your time. Just look, so you see where you are. Just lightly. It's just this side, I need some. There you go. I'm going to give it a wee blow with the, the hair dryer, you know I like to do that, so I'm just going to draw it back. It helps to open the fibre out. Curls up the wee horns as well, gives it a very natural look. It just gives me an idea of what the fly looks like. There you go. And that's the cinnamon caddis with the cock de leon fibre and CDC. As you say, there's some nice methods in there you could probably experiment with. Uh, as I said, I've done that many a time with other things and uh, I just thought I would try it with that. And uh, as you can see, it certainly looks apart. And you can let me know what you think. It's like everything that's, yeah, you like it, you don't, or you can get some ideas from it, and that's what, that's what it's all about. So I hope you enjoyed that. And again, thank you for watching. Until next time.